about 16 things in 16 years. And since my birthday is next week, I decided to do another one. So this video is going to be 19 things in 19 years. But since by the time this video goes up, I'll still be 18. But you know, that's fine because it's still 19 things I learned in 19 years. Also, I'm going to take this crown off because I look like I'm 12. And with my puffs, I already look younger than I am. So we're just going to take this off. But shout out to the people who bought this for me last year on my birthday. You know who you are. The first thing I learned, everybody is not your friend. It, it may seem like you have a lot of friends. Everybody is not your friend. Don't, don't believe it. Just everybody's not your friend. You got to, you'll learn. You will learn. The second thing, fake people are everywhere you think maybe oh none of my friends are gonna switch up on me lies they fake just watch out you've been warned the third thing i learned group chats are the devil's little brother that's, that's all i'm gonna say group chats are fine when you want to plan things or when you want to like when you want to plan things that's just about it but if you want to talk to somebody group chats are they're not helping for that because me personally, I pull all my group chats on do not disturb. So like, and you can be talking about something serious in there. Like someone's just going to pop and talk about something random. Want to know why? Because their group chat is on do not disturb. They're the bleh. group chats are the devil's little brother. Four, take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you. Say for example, um, Last year, my school had a trip to go to Six Flags or to go to, like, they had, like, a lot of mini trips in the beginning of the year. And I was contemplating not going because, like, I didn't know who was going. But, you know, I went anyway because, and I had a really good time. So, like, if I didn't go, I would have been sit sitting on my campus bored as hell. But, you know, I went, I had fun, and now if they have anything else, I'm going to do it again. Because, you know why? It was fun. Take advantage of the opportunities. It doesn't have to be like a big grand opportunity like, oh, we're going to go to space. Let's go. Like, it don't got to be like a big gesture like that, but like something little or like if it's something that you couldn't do on your own and it's presented to you or like something free is presented to you, just take the chance and go do it. Like, I'm part of this program that like, goes to Six Flags every summer, and like, that is a free trip to Six Flags. Like, that is an opportunity presented to you. Go take that opportunity and go to Six Flags for free. Like, do you, do you see the, the two and two, how it's connected? Okay, great. The fifth thing, take pictures and videos of everything. Everything, when I say everything, I mean everything. I mean like, don't go overboard with it, but take pictures and videos of everything. Thing. You have memories that will last a lifetime and if you take your pictures on a camera or your phone camera and you run out of space, you know, you just switch that all over to like Google Drive or something or like put it on Facebook or, you know, just save it in your, on your laptop or something because that's exactly what I do. I have about five different albums on Facebook for my last five years of school. So from freshman year, from freshman year of high school all the way to my freshman year of college, and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna keep doing it again and again and maybe until I finish school. Who knows? But you know, I just have memories that I can just look back on. I think that's just a wonderful thing to have. The sixth thing, try not to sweat the small things. Because if you sweat every little small detail, you're never gonna get anything done. You're never gonna like hand in your work in time. You're never gonna finish cleaning your room or something like that. Just you're never going to finish cooking that food. Just, like, try not to sweat the small little details because there is a bigger picture at hand. So just, like, if one little thing doesn't work out, that's fine. You can always go back and do it again at a later point in time. Just, like, try to focus on a big picture at hand and the little things, they will get done and they will get done somehow. It, it's okay. It will be all right. Number seven, if you're struggling with something, take a breath. Don't let it stress you out as much as it's doing, or if it's stressing you at all, don't let it do that. Just take a breath, then go ask for help. All right? Just as simple as that. Just take a breath, then go ask for help. The eighth thing, do not be afraid to ask for help. There are people out there to help you. 
and that's what they're there for to help you so do not be afraid to ask for help you will get better results <laughs> you will get better results when you ask for help with something you're struggling at number nine follow through with your plans because for me personally there's nothing more annoying where i plan out something with my friends and then everything just falls apart last minute like that is just that is just the most annoying thing ever and i hate it so much like it grinds my gears it i hate it so much it pisses me off to the next level it's just so annoying number 10 don't half-ass things just don't do it if you know you can do something well just do it or if you're running late on something start it early don't half-ass it at, a, at the last minute it's going to piss you off it's going to stress you out and then you're going to get like a low grade or your things going to come out looking shitty don't half-ass things it's annoying stress people out don't do it number 11 sometimes things don't go as you plan and that's okay you can be upset about it but you just now know for next time that you have to take more steps and precautions and so the next time you plan something out that you want for yourself already because for me personally i had a whole plan this summer and it just nothing happened at all for that plan so i know for next summer i have to take a few more steps and pre pre precautions to actually get my plan done before I go back to school for fall 2018? 28, spring 20, yeah, for, <laughs> for fall 2018, so I know that it will actually work out this time. 12, good friends are not measured by how long you knew them. They're measured, well for me personally, they're measured by how well you connect with them and how well they're there for you and you're there for them that's just that just point blank period that's just that 13 it's okay to take time to yourself there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a period of solitude or an isolation period whatever you want to call it there's absolutely nothing wrong with that sometimes people just need a time for themselves like a time to relax and de-wind from like everybody else and like all the commotion going on like just take a time to yourself Re regain yourself make sure you're calm you're happy whatever and then just like go back on into the world it's okay it's fine 14 it's okay to be the mom friend of your friend group there's nothing wrong with that because i remember when i was in high school i was mom friend of my friend group and i was literally the youngest person out of us four like and i was the mom friend that's okay and in my friend group in college i have like two mom friends and that's perfectly okay there's nothing wrong with being a mom friend people might give you shit for it but there's absolutely nothing wrong with being the mom friend it's perfectly fine number 15 blood is still not thicker than water and i remember if i said this three years ago in my 16 things i learned in 16 years video but i'm gonna say it now because it's still true for me personally and sometimes you want to have situations where your family try to play you but then your friends gonna be there to back you up 16 if you need to cry just cry don't hold it in if you need to go by yourself and cry that's absolutely fine if you don't like crying in front of people but if you need to cry cry because holding it in doesn't really help anything like oh you may seem like oh i don't have no emotions oh you cry blah, blah, blah. but like what for what what you're not crying for you want to cry go cry and if you got people who judge that for you fuck them like if you need to cry go cry like you could go by yourself you could go with somebody you really trust like it don't matter if you need to cry you need to cry just go try and don't let anybody give you shit for it number 17 this one kind of goes along with the last one have at least one person you can truly just talk to and like do anything around like you can talk to them you can cry around them laugh whatever fart whatever just have at least that one person you could have like a heart to heart with because if you don't have one person to have a heart to heart with you're going to be like stuck in your own mind and like stuck in your thoughts and that's never really good that's never really a good thing to have happen so if you have one person you got like have a good sit down heart to heart too that's really good to have number 18 don't give up i know that's so cliche or whatever the fuck but it's so true you guys you just need to keep trying you can't just like give up if it fails one time or it fails three billion times just keep trying if it's something you really want to do and you really think you have a shot at it don't give up just keep
keep trying. Because when you finally get it, it's going to make the world of difference to you. And that all that, and it, and that's all that matters is that it makes a difference to you because you're doing it for yourself. Last but not least, number 19. Find what makes you happy, calm, stress-free, or whatever the fuck, and keep doing it. Because if it makes you happy, if it relieves your stress, if it makes you calm and, and mellow, do it. Just keep doing it every time you feel pressure or like, like you don't want to do anything. Just keep doing it and doing it and doing it because eventually enough, you're going to like be calm, stress-free, you're going to be happy, you're going to be more positive and like joyful in the world. you your aura is going to be out there and happy and positive and that's always a great thing so those are the 19 things i learned in 19 years i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see y'all next time bye